Welcome, Hill Rider TV. Got something going on here at the customer. Well, it's nothing to do with me, but I just noticed this. I thought I'd share it with everybody. Maybe we can find out what's going on. So I'm here at the customer, dropping and hooking. Got my empty over there. Got my loaded trailer there. And I noticed this situation across the row over here. And look, you can tell it's kind of a gravel mud pit to drop and this customer has their loaded trailers or when they load the trailer it's heavy about 43 or 44 thousand pounds maybe even more so i don't know if this trailer here i'm looking at is loaded or empty or it's not looking good so yeah, it's mud, and if you drop the trailer, whether it's loaded or empty, there's a little strip of concrete. It's covered up pretty much by mud, but you can still tell one's there. Some places it's more visible than others. Over there where I dropped mine, it's pretty visible. And over here, it's a little visible, but look, Somebody missed the concrete slab and the landing gear has fallen, sunken. So apparently, I would assume this load is loaded to sink like that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. So I'm gonna go up to the guard shack up there on my way out to let them know that this trailer is in danger of falling completely over. So I would imagine this is loaded. So who's at fault here? Is it the driver? If it's empty, would it sink like that? But shouldn't the driver, or if he did drop an empty, he missed the concrete slab, but shouldn't have that much to worry about if it's empty sinking it was loaded it would have to be the yard jockey that it happened to I didn't notice the concrete slab there to drop a loaded trailer on there thing I would open the trailer and look to see if it is loaded but it's not our company so I'm not going to mess with it plus I don't want to touch the trailer it might make it go over the rest of the way, but the, the rear axles, the tandems are off the ground. As you can see there, they're off totally off the ground. I don't know. Who do you think's at fault here? Is it the customer here for having a crappy drop lot? Or is it the driver that brought the trailer in or is it the yard jockey that just dropped a loaded trailer in here I don't know so we're gonna go back to our truck do our paperwork and get out of here and we're gonna stop up to the, to the guard track scale house shipping office let them know that that trailer might need to be pulled out by a yard jockey set back up before it gets even worse or even worse than that falls over so i appreciate everybody watching everybody have a good day be sure to uh, be diligent on where you're dropping your trailer whether it's loaded or empty so it don't happen like that So everybody, have a good day. Stay safe.